Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Snolly. Welcome to my channel if you are new. And if you are, definitely hit that subscribe button down below because we are so close to 25,000 subscribers. My original goal was November 25th, but I feel like we can totally hit that before that date. So help a sister out, subscribe down below. And if you guys are gonna subscribe or if you're already subscribed, don't forget to turn on those post notifications so you can get notified whenever I post a video. Today we are filming a misguided summer haul. I honestly think this might be my best haul yet. I feel like my wardrobe is definitely going in a different direction and I'm so here for it. If you guys see anything you like in this haul, definitely be sure to check the description box below because all of the links will be in there so you guys can easily shop this video. So let's get started. First up is this polka dotted textured dress. I really like that it cinches me in at the waist and I feel like everything on this dress really just fits perfectly. It's very flattering and also it's black so it's slimming. Um, but I really like the girly feel because it still fits in with my neutral wardrobe tones. This is a green printed maxi dress and it is actually a wrap dress and I love that about it because you are able to adjust like the waist part because sometimes you know the waist just doesn't fit right. Like I said it is a maxi so it is more on the conservative side compared to all the dresses I bought but it does have this little slit if you want to show some skin. I think it's safe to say that I'm obsessed with this dress. Ryan said that it was a matcha tea colored dress and I love it even more for that because I've been drinking it every single morning for the past like two weeks. Um, but I really love the straps on this dress. I think it's kind of like that halter vibe and I feel like halter anything really flatters me um, but the only issue I have with it is that I don't know what bras to wear and strapless sometimes just doesn't cut it or I feel like I haven't gotten a new strapless bra in forever so if you guys have any recommendations let me know in the comments down below. Next I got this denim ruched dress. I'm planning on wearing this for one of my friend's birthday. She has like cowboy themes so I feel like it's gonna look really good with my cowboy boots. The next dress I have is this really simple black straight dress. It does have two straps, so one isn't my bra, but if I did wear a bra, I guess you wouldn't really be able to tell, which is nice. This reminds me of a dress I bought on sale at Forever 21. It's just like super, not like cheap quality, but just not like cotton, but I think it's really cute. You can definitely dress it up or dress it down to make it casual. This dress is something very different from the rest. I feel like the other ones were really girly, but this is more of like that business, kind of like beachy vibe. I don't know. I'm kind of getting like a white linen shirt vibe from this. I definitely need to find a belt that would look cute with this because I feel like it kind of needs to be like cinched at the waist. I don't know. I feel like it just is a lot more flattering if a dress does that. Um, but like I said, it is kind of like a beachy feel, so I don't mind it being super oversized and just flowy. Believe it or not, these are my first biker shorts that I've ever bought. I've been meaning to get them for so long now, especially because I go to sleep in a big t-shirt every night and then when I wake up, I don't want to put on leggings. I just want to put on like something really easy, just shorts. Like I don't even want to put on pants, but obviously I have to take my dog out. So I feel like these are going to be perfect for that. And let's just talk about the set for a second. Like this is so cute and thank goodness it is because I actually bought it in another color because I had a good vibe about it. This is the other color I got. It's that matcha color again. As you can see, I'm super obsessed with it. This is a cotton set, so it's not really like that spandexy feeling. And I feel like I would definitely like that kind of like a sporty feeling in a biker short. So if you guys also have recommendations for biker shorts, leave them in the comments down below. So I saw these corset styled tops on Misguided and I was really intrigued, so I wanted to try them out. And of course I got the matcha color, but I also got it in white. The styles are kind of different. The last one I was wearing had a zipper on the back and it was a little bit more structured, but this one is a little bit more stretchy. It doesn't have the zipper and it has that spaghetti strap instead of the thick straps. And I honestly kind of liked the thick straps because I was able to hide my bra straps, but obviously with this, I would need to find another bra option. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of bodysuits that I got, starting off with this one. I love this because it hides the bra strap so I can get some nice cleavage going on, but it's also very supportive, I feel like. Um, it fits really well. I don't think it's really adjustable, but it fits, so that's perfect. I feel like I have so many black bodysuits, so it's nice to have something kind of different with these ruffles. I know I just got done saying that I have way too many black bodysuits, but here's another one. I feel like there's just so many different styles, and I really like this because it's so classic. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. When we're ready to go out, whenever that is, I feel like this is a perfect top for those nights that you have no idea what to wear. Just like throw on some really cute jeans or a jean skirt. This is the last bodysuit I have to show y'all and I feel like it's the most perfect nude color. I feel like it looks so good with my tan and I also like the thick straps and that box v-neck. 
This is the first tie-dye piece I think I have in my wardrobe since you know the whole tie-dye fad came about and I'm kind of surprised it took me this long to like hop on the bandwagon but these neutrals like I was just searching for like the perfect kind of tan um, neutral tie-dye and I think this is super cute. I feel like it is a little bit long like it's kind of like at an awkward length so I honestly might just cut it shorter so I could wear it with these cute sweatpants or just jean shorts um, and then that brings me into my next thing um, I just bought some more joggers I feel like I can never have enough joggers because I literally stained my favorite nude ones um, these are more of like a pink tone and the other ones from my boohoo haul were more like taupe nude these two pieces aren't a set but I feel like it really went together well I have two new swimsuits to share with y'all and this is the first one it has that like ruching texture on it which kind of reminds me of the Flintstones for some odd reason I don't know why I'm getting Flintstone vibes but I'm kind of here for it I just love a pop of color especially when it comes to swimsuits I did see this really cute black swimsuit on the site but it was not my size and I was heartbroken because it was like that underwire kind of you know structured swimsuit I'm definitely gonna keep my eye on the website in case it comes back in stock but I do love this one shoulder trend and obviously the cutout this is the next swimsuit I got obviously it's that green color and it does have that kind of structured underwire that I was talking about that the black swimsuit had this was my second option but I definitely rather have black if it was an option because it's just more slimming the last piece of clothing I got is this super cute oversized linen shirt I'm obsessed with linen shirts I feel like it just gives that beachy relaxed vibe so you can use this as a pool or a beach cover-up. Misguided has face masks and I finally bought cloth face masks. I've still been using like these disposable face masks and I just keep them forever but they are starting to smell and they have so much makeup all over them so I finally got some face masks and they had this super cute nude color so my vibe and then obviously I wanted a black one just in case like nude didn't go with my outfit. I think these were around five dollars or less. The last two things I have to show y'all are shoes, so let's start with this one. I feel like if you were to ask me a year ago if I liked these shoes, I definitely would have said no, but I really like the square toe and the toe ring hoop thing. I've always been obsessed with this. This is so random, but whenever I went to India in the past, we've always done so much shopping and all of the sandals have these little toe rings, so it just reminds me of that, and I, and I just love that style, and obviously it has the thick block heel which makes it so comfortable to walk in y'all are gonna have to help me with these i just don't know if i like them just yet but i haven't had any shoes with these clear straps on them so i feel like i had to you know just try them out last summer i was obsessed with those platform shoes so it didn't have like a heel on the back of it but it was just kind of like this jute texture all around lately i've been seeing people wear them and even myself i just feel like you need a little bit of height in the back i haven't worn wedges in so long and i just put these on and it felt so weird especially being in a quarantine like you don't need to be wearing heels all the time that wraps up this misguided haul i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys made it to the end of this video comment down below what your favorite piece from this haul was and if you guys have your eye on something on misguided site because there's so many cute things i might have to place another order in the near future but i will see y'all in my next video bye